Good evening, my fellow FAP FICO students. Uh, what I would like to speak to you about tonight is I would like to speak to you about the financial statements that you would see in FAP FICO. Two of the financial statements that you would see in FAP FICO are your balance sheet and your profit and loss statements. Your balance sheet uh, is composed of your assets and your liabilities and your balance sheet must um, balance out. So the assets must equal the liabilities plus the retained earnings. And that's why they call it a balance sheet. Now your assets are something you have control over, something you have control over as a result of a past event, and it's something that has a future economic benefit. Your liabilities are a business obligation, an obligation as a result of a past event, and settling the obligation will require an outflow of resources. So in your balance sheet, you have your assets, which would be seen as a debit, and then you have your um, liabilities, which would be seen as a credit. And this is just a few examples of an asset that you would see in your balance sheet, but certainly not everything. So your bank account, cash in hand, property, automotives, debtors, that's people that owe you money, investments, bonds, communications equipment, computer equipment, intellectual property, goodwill, and prepayment. Your liabilities, that's things that the company owns, owes other people, would be loans, creditors, that's money that the company owns other people, accruals, that's things that the company has bought but hasn't paid for yet, depreciation, and maintenance costs. Then the next thing you have is you have your profit and loss statement. So the profit and loss statement takes your income and your expenses. And so um, the expenses are a debit and the income is a credit. Uh, examples of income would be your sales, or sometimes it's called revenue, and income would also be interest income. So if the company uh, loans money to somebody or another company, then the company got income from the interest, and that would also be income. Uh, Cost examples of expenses or debits would be uh, cost of sales because obviously to sell a product you have to spend money to actually sell that product. Uh, any interest payments made, um, expenses, any depreciation and drawings and that's basically money that people are taking out of the business. So on the profit and loss statement basically what they do is they subtract the expenses from the income. Anything left over would be called uh, retained earnings. And so basically uh, the retained earnings would also go into your balance sheet. And so your assets would have to balance out with your liabilities and your retained earnings. But the reason why these financial statements are so crucial um, in SAP is because in SAP whenever you are creating your ledgers, your general ledgers, then what you would do is you would have to create a general ledger for assets, liability, expenses, and income. And when you create these general ledger accounts, uh, you will be asked whether it's going to go in the balance sheet or whether it's going to go in the profit and loss account. And so that's why you need to know about the financial statements if you are going to be working on SAP FICO. So I hope I've given you enough information so if you open an account, a general ledger account, you can decide for yourself whether it's going to be an asset, liability, expense, or income, and whether it's going to fall into the balance sheet or the profit and loss statement because you will be Ask that question when you open a general ledger account in SAP FICO. So I hope you've got something out of that. Good night.